part of the offseason for the Miami Dolphins was the addition of Teron Armstead. Like, we can talk there about all the speed on the outside, but, like, my goodness. Like, Tua's got to be feeling like he's in a pretty comfortable position this year. Like, the Dolphins did everything imaginable to give him – to put him in a position to set him up for success this season. So if he doesn't succeed, like you can hear what Tyreek Hill said, like they basically give you two to three years and then they move on. So everything's lining up for Tua to have to fulfill those expectations this year. But for me, it's Jalen Hurts because of the things that we started to see in place last season. Like what happened weeks one through eight? for the Philadelphia Eagles last year. They were a pass-heavy team, and Jalen Hurts was not that efficient of a quarterback. Then all of a sudden, people kept saying, run the ball, be effective that way, and lo and behold, he became a better quarterback within the confines of that offense. So I think that you can take a look at what they learned with Jalen Hurts last year in Philadelphia and expect that they will apply those same sort of principles to what they're going to do and what they're going to ask him to do offensively this year. And you talk about upgrading of weapons, that trade that they pulled off to get A.J. Brown from Tennessee gives him a number one receiver. I mean, Devontae Smith is fantastic. Quez Watkins is really good, too. So he's got guys who, who like to catch the deep ball, and Jalen Hurts isn't afraid to air it out. He was fourth last season in air yards per attempt once they started figuring out how to balance things offensively for him. And what Nick, Nick Sirianni has said publicly this offseason is exactly what you expect when a quarterback starts getting comfortable in a system. This is only like his second time since high school where he's had the same offensive system from a year-to-year -year basis. Continuity is an important thing for quarterbacks at any level, particularly in the NFL. And now that he's knowing how to get to where he needs to go, how to connect with his receivers – Faster, I feel like he's set up for success. And on top of that, he plays in the NFC East, which, you know, to me is a far better situation for a quarterback to be in than, you know, where, where the Miami Dolphins are in the AFC East and what uh -oh. Tua is going to have to face twice a year with a lot of his opponents. Yeah, yeah that, that's sad when that is the – I think that's probably the most powerful ar argument. But you're right. There's a lot of talent there. I think having an offensive line that they have with Johnson and my lot is impressive. And I love their secondary, or at least the corners, with Slay and Bradbury. And you're right about Brown and Smith on the outside for Hurts. That's a lot to help him out. But I do think that his limitations as a passer is the reason why I have to go with Tua. Like, I, I think Tua has certain limitations, but he is a much more comfortable passer. And we've seen this system work. But I got to be honest, Tyreek Hill is such a difference maker. No disrespect to Brown or Smith or even Kendrick Bourne in New England, who I really like. I think he is a legitimate number one receiver, even if most of the league does not agree with me. But Tyreek Hill is such a special weapon. He distorts coverage in such a uh, – he has the capability to do, distort coverages in such a way that it's going to make the game so much easier. And you can, you can throw Tyreek Hill a five, six, seven-yard pass that might go for 70. We saw it in the playoffs last year. I think him alone, having that as a security blanket – and also, as a, as a coverage tilter, I think makes his job and Mike McDaniel's job a whole lot easier. And that's why I'm going to lean towards Tua. It's his ability to pass combined with McDaniel's history and the Shanahan scheme. And then you put on top of it, you have a player that, like to use a basketball terminology, has the type of gravity that will affect the entire defense. You can do so many things, open up so many other receivers. I suspect Gusecki's going to have a big year if he is lined up on the same side as Tyreek Hill. He is that much of a problem to me. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.